Welcome to HCC 190, located downstairs in the Health Career Center building on the Bend campus of COCC. As you can see, this room has multiple televisions and cameras in order to make streaming easy and effective here. Let's go through how to use all the equipment in this room. We'll start by turning on any monitors that need to be turned on, and then we'll turn on the computer tower itself. Next, if the Crestron is not awake, you can tap it to wake it up, and then select the computer source. If the Crestron asks if you would like to use a projector, you can choose yes or no. Once the computer and Crestron are on, you can sign into the computer and use the TV remote to turn on the TVs in the room, and the camera remote to turn on the cameras in the room. This room is equipped with a camera feed button selector system that allows you to switch which camera will display on your video feed. Toggle the camera feed by pressing one of the two buttons and you can switch back and forth at any time. You may also need to turn on the projector at this point if the Crestron system didn't turn it on automatically for you. You can do that with the projector remote. Here are the three remotes in the room. TV, camera, and projector. Next, we'll want to sign into our Zoom meeting. We can do this either through Canvas or by opening the Zoom program on the computer itself. You can use your mouse to drag items from one monitor to the other, and anything that shows up on that right-hand monitor will also appear on the bottom TV. The top TV is there to use as a self-check so that you can see what you're doing in your streaming course. And anything that appears on that right-hand monitor will also project to your projector so that your students can see what's on the screen. You can use the up, down, left, right, and zoom functions of the camera remote to adjust the camera position to make sure that you, your screen, and or your students are visible. Before students join your Zoom call, you'll want to test your speaker and microphone using the test speaker and microphone options in Zoom. When you do this, you may need to choose a different speaker or microphone if the one that Zoom automatically selects isn't working for whatever reason. Here are the settings that we discovered worked for this room. These are the microphones the streaming system uses to pick up your voice. If possible, you want to avoid placing anything near them that is going to cause a constant noise, as that may impact your student's ability to hear you. As students join your meeting, you'll need to decide where you would like to see them, on your projector, on the TV screen, or just simply on the left-hand computer monitor. It's up to you. But you have some options, especially if you want to encourage student interaction. Remember that you can use the camera feed button to change what your students see. This can be useful to either have your streaming class be able to see your projector, but it can also be useful to help facilitate discussion between an in-person class and a streaming class. When you're done with your meeting, please shut down the computer, turn off any computer monitors, and make sure to shut down the Crestron system too. Finally, we use the camera remote to turn off the cameras, the projector remote to turn off the projector, and the TV remote to turn off the TVs. If at any point you have trouble with your streaming class, don't hesitate to pick up the phone and give us here at eLearning a call. There should also be a manual somewhere in the classroom that goes over much of what was discussed in this video about how to use the equipment. If you don't have that manual, please feel free to request it from us at any time. We hope that you enjoy your streaming experience, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know. Thanks for watching.